Welcome. This screen watch is part of Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 13C demo series and helps you understand and configure notification blackouts. Unlike the regular blackouts that suspend monitoring on the targets in order to perform maintenance operations, notification blackouts are solely for suppressing the notification on target while the agent continues to monitor the target. OMS shows the actual target status along with an indication that the target is currently under notification blackout. Events will be generated as usual, but even notifications are suppressed. In a nutshell, this feature allows you to have monitoring visibility on a target under maintenance period. Let me take you to the process of creating notification blackout for a database target instance from Enterprise Manager Cloud Control Console. Navigate to Enterprise menu, Monitoring Blackouts. Opt to create the blackout and in the selection dialog, select the notification blackout option and create. In the Create Notification Blackout page, you would opt to enter either of the maintenance option depending on your need. Select the first option under maintenance if the target is under planned maintenance and an EM administrator do not want to receive any notifications during the notification blackout period. Since the target is brought down deliberately for maintenance, the duration is not considered while calculating availability percentage. Select the second option, non-maintenance, if the target is experiencing unexpected downtime such as server crash, the administrator do not want to receive alerts as they are already aware of the issue and are currently working to resolve it. However, availability percentage computation should consider the actual target status during the notification blackout duration. By default, under maintenance option is selected. Now select the targets to be added to the notification blackout. For the demo, let's choose a specific database target instance to be patched. One could opt to enter other required scheduling parameters and submit the blackout creation process. The notification blackout just created is displayed with the type differentiating if it is set for maintenance or not. And you can choose to see the details by selecting the row and scrolling down for the information. In the All Targets page, for the specific database target instance added to the notification blackout, observe the target status icon corresponding to notification blackout for maintenance. Note that the actual target availability status is reflected next to the spanner icon. Navigate to Database Monitoring Status History page to check the availability percentage. Note that the availability is 100% though there is a finite notification blackout time as seen in the pie chart. This is due to the fact that notification blackout is set for maintenance as shown in the current status or as indicated by the target status icon message. Now let me show the difference when a notification blackout is set for unplanned non-maintenance mode. I've shut down the target database instance to represent unplanned downtime. Create the notification blackout to repair the issue which caused the database to shut down. Select the second option, non-maintenance, and add the database instance target. Notification blackout created with non-maintenance option set has a specific type clearly conveying the option chosen. In all targets page for the specific database target instance, its status icon reflects the down availability status and the little dot indicates that it's under notification blackout. Navigate to its monitoring status history page to check the availability percentage. Observe that now the target downtime is included in availability percentage calculation and the current status indicates that it is under notification blackout. During notification blackout, no actions, including notifications, are performed over incoming events, but an administrator would want visibility into latest events before stopping the maintenance. To monitor the events during maintenance window, that's either during blackout or notification blackout duration, navigate to Incident Manager Console and examine the view events recorded during blackout. That concludes the demo on configuring notification blackout. Thank you for watching this demonstration.